At the end of the day, estrogen mimicking chemicals are just very bad for the gains. What's going on everybody? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorilla Zen Fitness and today I'm going to be talking about the dangers of plastics. So to begin, most plastics contain chemicals within them that are endocrine disruptors in the body, meaning they disrupt your hormonal system. Um, more, more specifically, there are chemicals found in plant plastics that mimic estrogen. They bind to your estrogen receptors and have estrogenic properties. Normally this is not a big deal because it's not like you're eating and drinking plastic, right? Well, most likely you are consuming plastic in some form or another. So I don't know if you remember from your high school chemistry class, but water is a solvent, okay? It dissolves things and breaks them down. Plastic is a solute. And when a solvent is mixed with a solute, the solvent breaks down and dissolves the solute and forms a solution. So this is a big deal for people that drink pre-packaged um, drinks and food that come in plastic. So things like water bottles, um, sports drinks, and soda are all a big deal. Things like the acidity of the liquid, how much UV light the package was exposed to before it was consumed, how long the liquid sat in the package before it was consumed, all will affect and influence the concentration of the solution. But make no mistake about it, if you're drinking a bottled water or something that came in a plastic um, container, you're likely getting minute um, marginal like doses of plastic. One of the most dangerous chemicals and one of the most well-known chemicals for its adverse effects on the human body is bisphenol A, also known as BPA. BPA is found in plastics all over the place and it's scientifically proven to have some extreme adverse effects on the human endocrine system. I actually included a link in the description down below to a PubMed article kind of explaining this. Luckily a lot of manufacturers have stopped using BPA and you might have seen this on water bottles that say BPA free. This is all well and good but BPA is only one of the harmful chemicals found in plastics um, and the difference between BPA and the other chemicals found in plastics is for some reason BPA has just got a lot more negative press lately probably because of its um, you know use is used a lot more than some other chemicals um, in plastics but there are a handful of other chemicals in plastics that will be dissolved by water and other liquids things like chlorine um, uh, like precursor to styrofoam, it's called styrene, I think, um, dioxin, and you know a couple other ones, those are just a few. I included some PubMed articles to those too in the description down below. Now what I recommend you do is get a, a permanent water bottle that you'll refill, hopefully with filtered water. Um, so a glass one would work, they sell those at Costco. You can also get something like this, this is a clean canteen. It's basically a stainless steel water bottle with no toxins in it. The good thing about refilling your own water bottles is even if the bottle has you know, toxic chemicals in it as a result of manufacturing, if you're refilling it, you're controlling one of the factors that's going to influence the concentration of the, the solution, okay, um, which is time. Most of the time, if you fill up a water bottle, you're going to drink it shortly after filling it up. You're not going to leave it sitting in there for weeks on end, which is sometimes how long water will sit in a bottle before you consume it. At the end of the day, estrogen mimicking chemicals are just very bad for the gains. They're also bad for your, just, your body and your health in general. And if you can limit your intake of these things, um, overall that's going to go a long ways. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that right over here. Also, give me a like and follow me on Instagram. I'll include links to both of those things in the description down below. Other than that, I'll see you next time.